We are back today for another reaction video from Germany. So I've been, yeah, I've been asking for that German, uh, the comedy and that humor. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so, yeah, so much into that. Uh, so keep getting your recommendations in. Uh, this is one comedian, Michael Mittermeier. Uh, it's a while back. That's October, uh, October 2012, but that's all right. Uh, comedy <laughs> uh, knows no years, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, see, this is me. I watch a lot of stand-up comedy like before bed when I when I don't want to get into a movie or something like that, TV series, uh, or if I'm just you know having lunch or something like that. It's just yeah, really really easy to watch. Uh, not necessarily easy, but that's just for me. That's just what I go to. So I love I love the stand-up. But then I see for these reaction videos, I, 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 I love discovering like at the moment, yeah, uh, doing a bit on Germany. So uh, maybe a lot. We'll see how we go. Uh, but I've been enjoying it so far. But the point is, it's like it's it's cool to see the different comedians from different countries, different humor. Yeah, I enjoy that. So uh, if you're new, I'm from Australia. Uh, welcome in. Let's go. Make sure this is on the highest. Okay. Not in the best quality, but if the jokes are there, that's all that matters. See, October, yeah, 2012. Good evening, welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. It feels quite orderly inside of a German body. Yes, I was born into one. And I'm very thankful. The warm welcome tonight, uh, many thanks, because not every German these days traveling to other countries in the European Union <laughs> is getting a warm welcome like this. Um, See, wow. and the, I Angela suppose Merkel that's the thing when I say, oh, like, it doesn't matter uh, where, uh, when, when these comedy shows are, but obviously there's going to be real life commentary about things happening and about the situation. So it would be 2012 related. In Greece, what a commotion. <laughs> <laughs> When you saw the news alarm, go home, bitch, out of Greece, the demonstrating Greeks. And my favorite was Angela Merkel is Hitler's daughter. <laughs> Hitler's daughter? I don't know, did you ever think about how Hitler's daughter would look like? <laughs> like Angela, hey, the pictures. They showed, they showed pictures, Angela Merkel with a Hitler mustache. Oh, and God. come on, um, let's face it. When, if Angela Merkel wanted a moustache, she could grow one any time. <laughs> Look at her, she could grow one any time. Yes. And let me tell you this, my English friends. <laughs> Beware of the day Angela Merkel stops shaving. <laughs> but, but it was it was a it was a it was a false picture kind of because it's only a minority of the Greeks really demonstrating like oh Nazi Germans the majority of the Greeks they are very thankful I meet a lot of Greeks in the last weeks in a month and they are coming like oh oh German oh, oh we are very thankful uh, thank you very much for all what you did you gave us so much money what a gift <laughs> uh, excuse me this was not a present. <laughs> We bought Greece. You're mine now. Can you please mop up the floor? No, um, he said, he, he said, we bought you. This is not a present. We bought, we, I own you. We own you. This was not a present for you. It's for us. Bought <laughs> Greece. You're mine now. Can you You're please mine. mop up the floor? Okay. Um, yes. We bought Greece. And it turns out it was a lot cheaper than our traditional approaches in the 40s. Um, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I'm a German, I'm a German German. I really, I, I, I followed up the line like backwards to the Teutons. We're like, I'm German, everyone was German in my family. German German. And my full name is Michael Fritz Mittermeier. Yeah, That's okay. really yeah. That's as German, or maybe not as German as you're going to get, but it sounds like a pure German name to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my full name is Michael Fritz Mittermeier. <laughs> That's really true. Um, Fritz, thank you, father. Fritz is the most... 
fucked up German name you can have. Named after every dump ass bad guy in a Nazi World War II movie. Right. There was always a retarded Fritz standing in front of the fortress guarding. <laughs> Films like Where Eagles Dare. They were all like the cool guys, Richard Burton, Clint Eastwood. They were sneaking into the fortress. No, they were not sneaking. They were like, hey, Clint, come with me. We go in. Hey, 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 Richard, Richard, be quiet. There is a guard. <laughs> he doesn't hear anything. This is just Fritz. Go, go, go. We can walk like this. We can walk like this. We can go into the fortress. Hello, Fritz. But it's going on. Pfft, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. so I always was a little bit afraid uh, doing comedy in Britain. So I thought, okay, start out in Scotland. So I went to the <laughs> Edinburgh <laughs> Fringe Festival. Are Scottish people here tonight? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you can show up. Yeah, Scottish people. I love having Scottish people in the audience because I will be not the one in the room who speaks the worst English. <laughs> That's it. But for me, it's very no. good. But after this time, he's in coming. The 70s, he's coming at the Scottish. <laughs> they can be tough to understand. I'll give him that. That's for sure. Because I will be not the one in the room who speaks the worst English. <laughs> that's his. Like, actually, his English is easier to understand. Like he's German. But oh, Scott, I'm, I'm the same. When when it's that strong, yeah, Scottish accent, like I can understand. Germans speaking English better. Like the accent isn't that much. It, it's familiar too. For me, it's very good. But after this time in the 70s, in the, in the 68 movement, there was a big change in German awareness of the Nazi history. Then there was like, so from now on in the schools in the 70s, there were overcompensating with information. I was the first generation in school. They really, they taught us the Nazi and the world war like every day. It was like, yeah, you're guilty and blah, blah, blah. Three times a week. We had a school subject called guilt. <laughs> Three times a week we had guilt. <laughs> On Fridays we had shame. By the time I was 14, I thought I invaded Poland <laughs> myself. See, I can only imagine how... Politen Hold up. Don't need captions. I, I can only imagine. I'm not like, yeah, if from Germany, let me know what that's like in school. Uh, like, yeah, when you're learning your history. Yeah, simply, uh, so I can't speak too much on it. Like, yeah, I'm asking for your experience. Like, obviously, yeah, it's a big, yeah, big history. And we we learn, obviously, like, in Australia, we had our own things going on. <laughs> uh, like, we had, yeah, we had the English take over. And, yeah, that that's pretty big. But, obviously, when it comes to the stuff, <laughs> like, with the Nazis and stuff, that's crazy. Uh, so... Yeah, I wonder how that is in the school system. Like, yeah, how you learn about that. And as I say, he's made to feel shame and guilt completely tough. And in the in the general uh, scheme of things in the current space of the world, you start to feel guilty of things that happen. <laughs> uh, that's the same, as I said. Like, I, I got to speak from my perspective, which... I guess you're here for, um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, we had p white people take over where I live in Australia and it, yeah, you, you start to feel like you did something wrong, <laughs> which is strange because it's like, yeah, I'm just here where well, we did, we didn't do anything. And yeah, the current state of the world is, yeah, people trying to change things to, yeah, make, yeah, they feel bad about about things that happened in the past but you weren't here in the past but they're blaming your people that did it and it's yeah it's kind of crazy it's a little bit off subject but a bit on subject as well it's in kind of in the same space so yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's in your language english it's a excuse me could could you uh, i'm sorry uh, could, uh, I'm, uh, 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 English always sounds like a heart attack in slow motion. Oh. A heart attack in slow motion. You're so polite here, huh? But only in England, English people. 
Yeah, when they travel to sunny countries and drink beer, they turn into orcs on uppers. Yes, <laughs> yes. I feel like I just got attacked. Not I got attacked. I feel like the relevance of that when they moved to sunny countries, Australia. Oh, uh, God. Obviously not the only place they move, but that piece of what he just said is accurate. Isn't that... Ooh, that works. <laughs> but only in England, English people. Yeah, when they travel to sunny countries and drink beer, they turn into orcs on uppers. Yes. Yes. Okay. That works. That's okay. Wait. This is, this is fascinating. This is really fascinating. When, when the BA flight from Birmingham is landing in Spain. Spain. It's, it's like a scene Spain. out of a zombie movie. <laughs> <laughs> and this was just the flight crew. The flight <laughs> But that's true as well, I know. Yeah. Yeah, the British, they love... Because uh, I know people from England as well. They, they love going on their holidays and absolutely just making the most of it when they go on their trip. So, yeah, they, they be drinking and, you know, having a fun time. But <laughs> you know what comes with that uh, when you have too much. But, yeah, they, they make the most of their trips. Politeness here in car traffic. You know, in Germany, traffic means war. Yeah. In Germany, when you stand at the red light, and between the red and the green, there's a hint of orange glowing. Yeah. In this split second, you have to kick off. Ram! Otherwise, the German driver behind you, Arschloch, Oktoberfest, du willst ficken, raus, raus, raus. Not so in England. Here at the red light, it was like, ah, 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 sorry, was, uh, oh, uh, I'm just queuing. Uh, uh, uh. And it's so nice because every night after the show, Londoners are coming to me. Hey, here in London, road rage. My beloved hobbits from the Shire. Huh? I'm used to drive in the German streets of Mordor. And I tell you a true story. I once was in London by car, and I was standing at the red light. I was looking at the GPS. It's not working. I missed the lights turning green. The lights turned red again. Okay. Do this in Germany, you'd be dead by now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not... Not so in England. <laughs> if the green light turns, uh, yeah, turns green, and you're not going, is oh. you you're gonna you're gonna hear... You're going to hear the rage, that's for sure. Well, it's not working. I missed the lights turning green. You uh, missed the light? The lights oh. turned red again. Uh, okay. Uh, You'll uh, hear about do it. Do this in Germany, you'd be dead by now. <laughs> not so in England. The polite They're English not like driver that, behind me got out of his car. I... He stepped up to my car. He even knocked at my window. <laughs> nah. Excuse me, sir. Were you expecting a different color? <laughs> See, again, I feel it's like early. I can relate when to this. Again, in Australia, there's some crazy road rage. Like, people be ready to start fights, literally. I think there's... We've got some... Uh, yeah, a lot of violence <laughs> and yeah, that phys physicality uh, addiction. Um, yeah, to start in fights, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone on the phone says, I come now. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> Punctuality. Politeness and punctuality for my father, the most important things. He always said, Son, we have German elements in our DNA. They are like, they are, hmm. And he said, oh, it's the five elements of being German. And my father, he, he said, it was um, organization, politeness, discipline, efficiency, and punctuality. And it is the same list in sex we have. Um, <laughs> organization. <laughs> To your place or to mine? <laughs> Politeness, please. 
Wait. Lay down. Discipline, be quiet. <laughs> Then efficiency and punctuality together. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Now. Let's. I lived in New York for half a year, and Americans don't know much about Germany, about anything, but especially about Germany. And um, <laughs> a true story. He's like telling the story that they don't know much, like they, they don't know much in general, not just about Germany, <laughs> coming at their intelligence. I lived in New York for half a year, and Americans don't know much about Germany, about anything, but especially about Germany. <laughs> Yeah, and, that was um, good. <laughs> a true story. In a bar in New York, an American girl, she walked up to me and she asked me the following question. Hey, you German guy. Why are there so many different languages in Europe? <laughs> <laughs> What do you answer to such a highly, extremely intelligent question? <laughs> And I said to her, look, Tiffany, <laughs> you want to know why there are so many different languages in Europe? Because we Germans lost the war. <laughs> so, now comes the point. You know what she answered to me? Oh, I'm so sorry for you guys. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to let you in on a German secret. Haven't you ever wondered why we Germans are so obsessed with environmental issues um, and global warming, climate change, but at the same time we build cars like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> BMW, It's Porsche, true. Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen. This is a contradiction. I thought so too, until one day I watched the news. That the anchorman was panicking about global warming. Ah, oh, time is running out. Heat waves, hurricanes, the sea level is rising continuously. I was like, oh, the sea level is rising, but in Germany we have the Alps, so we have time. Um, <laughs> not everyone has time. Um, um, London, for example. Um, I looked this up on German Google. London lies 45 feet above sea level. Munich, 2,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> That's plan B. We don't need planes and tanks anymore. We just watch the tide rising. <laughs> As they say at Audi, Vorsprung durch Technik. Look, 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 look. Huh? Scottish people can relax. You have the Highlands. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever hear Scottish people complain about global warming? No. <laughs> They want to see the English drown. Huh? <laughs> bye bye, Big Ben. Hello, Ben Nevis. So, 45 feet above sea level. Huh? And that's why here in London, uh, the new Wembley Stadium and the new Olympic Stadium both look like two giant rubber dinghies. Um, <laughs> the emergency rafts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There will be a time in the near future <laughs> where a lonely Wembley dinghy drift towards Scotland. <laughs> Excuse us, would you have a spot of dry land left? <laughs> God's standing on Arthur's seat. Sorry, we're booked. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody a safe safari to wherever he goes. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. I really liked it. Yeah, I can tell that when, yeah, I'll do a reaction video. And... Yeah, I could have kept watching this. It was like half an hour, hour long show. And it's, yeah, I'm just on the edge for the next joke. Like he, yeah, he, he really does well. Uh, yeah, Michael Mittermeier. So if you've got any other recommendations from him, maybe more recently, because again, this is October uh, 2012. <laughs> I don't need to really emphasize October, just yeah, 2012. Uh, it's, it's wild to say... Just, again, 2012 in general, because October wouldn't be exactly 12 years. But, yeah, be that before too long because the years are flying by. But, yeah, the point is, yeah, we'd love to see some new, newer uh, newer material from him. But, yeah, that was super, like, naturally funny. The like, general jokes he was saying, it didn't feel like it was this old. But, yeah, <laughs> as I said, this time has kind of passed. 
pretty quickly. But I think he could have some very good new material based on, yeah, what we've been through in the last few years. Uh, <laughs> obviously, is like the pandemic is like a huge thing. But yeah, you can you can go many places with jokes with that. So even if he doesn't have any jokes related to that, yeah, I'm sure he's got some good fresh material. Anyway, if you've got any other suggestions, if there's more comedians, funny videos from Germany, let me know because, yeah, I'm, I'll be settling in now to do a lot of content yeah, of Germany, I think, because, yeah, yeah, I really like it. And again, just based on the accent, as I said, as well, it's not the hardest to understand even when, you yeah, know, like when they're speaking in English, uh, <laughs> like this video is based on, yeah, uh, easier to understand than Scottish and a lot of the different English accents as well. Uh, yeah, the German accent is, I like the German accent. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm going to leave it there though. I'll see you in the very next video.